Hey, 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 how's it going? Hope you're doing awesome. I am sitting here drinking my coffee, which is per usual, and I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on the easiest uh, compressor to use for vocals in the world. I mean, period. Um, it's called the Renaissance Vox, or R-Vox, and I always forget about this little guy. Um, and I decided to, you know, kind of stray from my usual 1176 and LA-2A and all of those compressors on this last track. And it was just really, really fun because it allowed me to work creatively and quickly uh, without having to dial in parameters. Uh, if you look, there's only three knobs here, uh, which really makes takes out all of the guesswork. Um, when I first saw this, I started overthinking this, thinking, oh man, maybe there's something more to this, but there really isn't. So this last little remix I was working on, it's a small foot remix. I, uh, let's hear, I'll play a little bit for you of the chorus. Okay, so how to use this little guy? Well, it's really, really easy. Um, all you have to do uh, is use this knob, bring it down. The more you bring it down, the more compression you get. The higher you bring it up, the less, and that's it. This is your, your overall volume. You don't even have to think of it as makeup gain. That's what it is, but just think of it as, as this is your volume knob, this is your compression knob. The gate you know, that's that's if you've got some uh, headphone bleed or things like that. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, I'm just going for the simplicity here. So this is uh, the track we're looking at. I'm going to play it for you. Um, um, taking you home. Taking you home. Um. So how do I use this? I'll take it out. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage it and then I'll set it to full reset here and you'll see what happens. I'm just going to bring this knob down, slowly increasing the compression. See how it just brings it nice up in the mix? Um, and you, you don't have to think about threshold or knee or, well, this is your threshold, but you don't have to think about all that stuff like threshold, knee, soft knee, hard knee, attack time, release time, opto, fet, all that. You just put this on your vocals and you bring this knob down until it sounds right and it's the amount of compression you want and then you control the overall volume here of how you want it to sit in the mix and that's it folks. Uh, sometimes you can use two of these um, like here I'll show you rather than using you know one for all of the compression I'm, I'm taking you home. we could do this let's see So, you know, the old method of using two compressors to do a little bit less compression is a little bit better. So here, let me get rid of this. And what we'll do is we'll just add a little compression and then do it again. So here we go. Cool. Now let's bring up a second one. See how cool that sounds? It just brings that vocal right up in the mix. Um, yeah, folks, easiest compressor to use. I'm going to do another one on the LA-2A, which also, when I first started looking at it, I was trying to overthink it. It's also, I would say, the second easiest compressor in the world to use. 
Uh, if you guys have other opinions, let me know. I'm always happy to learn new things. But this right here, easiest, most transparent, cool sounding, and just a great plugin to have in your toolbox. And by the way, I'm not endorsed by Waves. I just love their stuff. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below or hit me up. And feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great one wherever you are. Take care.